Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. And I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers out there who have joined me on this baking journey. And to everyone out there who takes time out of their busy schedules to watch my videos. Um, if you recall, my last video was a snack I made on Finding Dory. It was the um, Finding Dory Pretzel Rollo Snacks. And they were really delicious. And as promised, I said I would make a new Finding Dory snack. So today, I'm going to keep my promise. And I'm going to make the Dory Cake Mix Popcorn Snack. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this little guy, Dory, or I should say this little girl, she is a cute little blue wide-eyed fish who has a terrible memory. She forgets things every 10 seconds, kind of like me lately. <laughs> but anyway, um, there was one thing she did remember. She remembered that she had parents. So she went on a journey with Nemo and another one of her fishy friends to find her parents. And that's what the movie is all about. So the snack we're going to make today, I hope you'll enjoy. You can take it with you in little bags if you go see the movie with your kids, Finding Dory. Or you can just um, enjoy it at home, watching TV. Or if you're going to have a, a birthday party for the little ones and you're going to have a Finding Dory theme, it'll be great for them. So it's really easy. The first thing you're going to need is six cups of popcorn. Now, I've popped my own popcorn. You cannot put butter in the popcorn and it can't be buttered popcorn. It has to be plain popcorn. So six cups of that. You're going to need one cup of vanilla cake mix and you're going to need one cup of melted white chocolate. Now I melted the Giardelli um, classic white chips. You can use this or you can use those, um, you know, Wilton's white uh, candy discs if you want. However, the recipe calls for the white chocolate chips, one cup of them melted, and while you're melting it, you're going to add to it one tablespoon of solid shortening because that helps the white chocolate chips to melt down better. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a sheet of wax paper over our cookie sheet, which I've already done. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to add one cup of the vanilla cake mix. This is the dry cake mix to the bowl. I'm going to add also the one cup of the white melted chocolate to the dry cake mix. And I will put this recipe in the description box on my YouTube channel below the video. And then you're going to add to that two tablespoons of sprinkles. Now you can either use blue and yelly, yellow jimmies or anything else that coordinates with the theme. I happen to have come across these little yellow and blue and black little sprinkles. I think they were actually made uh, for minions, but I thought they would be perfect for this recipe. So we're going to put two tablespoons of these in there. And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to sort of mi mix that all together. Now once I get this mixed together, I'm going to add the popcorn to it. Now it's really best to wash your hands and mix the popcorn in there, uh, similar to the way you would be making a meatloaf. Just squish it in there. Because you want to coat the popcorn with the mixture. So I'm going to do that now. And when I get it all mixed, I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, as 
you can see, I mix with my hands um, everything together in the bowl. I incorporated all the ingredients in with the popcorn. Now, I believe I told you one cup of white melted chocolate was my mistake. It should be two cups of white melted chocolate because you need to coat all this popcorn. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the cookie sheet while it's still wet. And I'm going to just spread it out on the cookie sheet. Very messy. I'm back now. I have my spatula and I'm going to go down to my cookie sheet. Just going to try to like move that around a little bit on there because it does harden fast. And then what you want to do is you want to take some of your Dory Goldfish crackers and just put maybe, I don't know, two thirds of a cup of the little crackers on top. Just push them in gently. You have to do it at this point because once it hardens, you won't be able to stick them on there. So you can stick them on, which is what I'm doing now. And then when I get that all done, and if it looks to you like you don't have enough sprinkles on there, you can put a few more on, which I think I'm going to do just for color. I want to make it look a little Dory-ish. <laughs> there you go. And so once I get these all on, I'm going to come back. We're going to um, wait till they harden. I'm going to break them up and we're going to see what these babies taste like. Be right back. I've let the um, popcorn mixture harden on my cookie sheet for probably about an hour. And what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to break it up into little pieces, put it in my bowl. You see, you can take a big chunk out like this, whoops, and then just break them up. Some of your fish will stick and some of it won't but it really doesn't matter. If any of you have made what I call the white trash mix, um, it's very similar. You know, the mix that you make with the pretzels and the corn checks and um, the rice checks and the peanuts. This is very similar. A lot of these fish are not sticking, but it doesn't matter. It all tastes good. So I'm gonna put these on top here. Now, once you um, get everything in your bowl, if you're ready to serve it, put these on top. If you're ready to serve it, what um, I was able to purchase, and I'll show you now, were these little um, Binding Dory party cups. So they're cute if you want to, like, if you're having a birthday party for the kids. And you want to serve this individually in the cup. Makes a nice little party snack for the kids. Now, let me just put this aside. Now, um, if you want, you can put a couple more of the uh, Finding Dory Goldfish on top. Just looks pretty. Doesn't matter if it's stuck or not. I just think it looks nice like that. And then what I did is, get a couple of blue ones here. What I did is um, I found in the store this box of Finding Dory gummies. And I also went on the website, uh, Oriental Trading, and they were very inexpensive. And you could get a big bag of all the Dory gummies individually wrapped. They all look like this. They're so cute. So I'm going to put one on top there. And uh, there's a couple of other colors. I think it's just all in the presentation. Looks pretty. There's also a little crabs that came in there, etc. So there you have it. Put another one on there. You have the little Dory um, cake mix popcorn uh, snack mix. So I hope you'll give it a try. One thing I wanted to mention to everyone is when I started my YouTube channel 
oh, I don't remember, maybe six or seven months ago, my goal was to um, get 100 subscribers, and then once I reached 100 subscribers, I would go on to my next goal, which was 200. I figured I'd do baby steps. Well, I'm happy to say I finally reached 100 subscribers. I'm really just doing this because I enjoy it. It's fun for me, and I like to share my little recipes with all of you. So because I reached 100 subscribers, uh, one of you lucky subscribers is going to get a little baking um, present from me. So the cameraman next uh, week is going to randomly pick someone. And on my next video, I will announce the winner. Now you can go to my new website. It's not completely finished yet, but I'm working on the photos. It's the Baking Diva. Dot net. So if your name is called on the video, you'll have one week to respond on there that um, you did hear your name mentioned and the address where your present can be sent. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a great summer. And as Dory's movie would tell you, just Keep on swimming and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm now aiming for that 200 number. So anyway, have a great day. Give me a fin, haha, <laughs> get it? A fin up on my YouTube channel and I'll see you soon. Toodles!